Okay. Wells Blue. I wonder if I can talk to the companions with what's happened. Usually they seem to have something to say when uh, we move things forward. Sophia should at least have something to say. Ganeyev maybe too. We should be able to enter this woman's dreams now, thanks to the eye we have. Ganeyev, where are you? Am I awake or...? It is I, Anya, and you are awake, yes. But why come to me now? Father will see, unless you are in trouble. You must come only in dreams. Only then can we be alone. Anya, I have no intention of entering your dreams, nor have I not after the night I stayed with you. But you came to me last night and the night before, and the night... Oh, I see. You are spinning lives for your friends to protect me. To protect me. Is this true, Gan? Anya... I did not come to you. I have not stepped into your dreams. You have? Who are you? You are not acting like yourself. Are you putting on a show for this one you follow? Do you fear to reveal your feelings for me in front of her? But... No, that cannot be. I believe you can. Perhaps at times you are confused as I am. More and more the waking world takes its toll. In dreams is where I wish to live. Something... Something is wrong with her. Her father did not lie. Anya, will you close your eyes for just a moment? Of course, what can do you... She... She does not lie. I do visit her, but it is not I. She has... Shaped another me with her mind. I did not even realize she possessed such power. This is... inconvenient. Does she have the same powers as you? What do you mean, Ganeyev? I cannot fix this, at least not alone. But the more she shapes this echo of me, the worse her madness will become. We need to end this other Gan, and quickly, before he becomes any more real. Are you speaking of madness, and of killing yourself? It makes... Unless you're not real yourself. Away from me, I are. You are a shadow, an imposter, a reflection, a lie cast by truth. So be it. If we do not help her, she will lose herself in dreams will be the same as dying, and a slow wasting death as well. Uh, what can we do? With your powers to walk in dreams as I do, you could accompany me into her dreams and we may be... we may put a stop to this. We should return later when she's asleep, or wait here until she drifts off. It shouldn't take long. Okay, let's talk about... I realize that dreams are a rather personal subject. However, if you're willing, I'd like to hear about the dreams you had with the coven. What were the dreams about? Yeah. I saw an old companion trapped in a wall of doomed souls. A wall of... souls? Uh, I... Who was this companion of yours? 
His name was Bishop. He was bound in the wall and clearly in pain. Bishop? Hmm. What was he like? He betrayed me, actually. Now he is bound proper justice. I see. So what else did you see in the dream? Well, the wall was rather unusual. I've read stories about such a wall. I can't recall the particulars. Yeah, with bluff inside. I'll try this. Nice try, but I doubt you'd forget anything. You're too smart for that. I have dreams, nightmares, really, of that wall. There's a sensation of being stretched, and an unending scream, one long composite scream of men, women, children. I really... I don't know what to tell you, other than it haunts me. I don't know exactly what it is, or why I dream about it, or why you saw it, too. I'd rather just talk about some other aspect of your dream. Yeah, we probably should drop it. Thank you for telling me. It can be difficult, I know. You are most welcome. So, as for the rest of what you saw in the dream? I was in the Veil Theater. Magda and the actress made me play a role in a drama. Interesting. This reinforces Leanna's part in the puzzle. Even if it provides no answers. What happened in this dream? I was told to take the part of the betrayer before the god Merkel apprehended me. Merkel. The old god of the dead. Kelimbor now rules in his place. A demilich, a dragon, and a celestial told me they would await my return and or the opening of a door. That's a curious trio. Those are three creatures that rarely get along. I wonder if they were images of actual beasts or figurative symbols. Hmm. Actors and the audience attacked me. Thespians can be so disagreeable. I wonder if their attacks were part of the play or due to your acting. That's all I can remember. What were the dreams about? I saw a wizard in red. She looked just like you, and Araman was there. Really? Was she me? Did she recognize you? Call herself Safia? And what was Araman doing there? I didn't catch the woman's name, but she spoke to me as if she knew me well. The only person I know who looks anything like me is... Well, my mother. What would she be doing in your dream? The woman implied that Araman was hunting her. That sounds oddly fitting. If you were dreaming of my mother, Araman wants her... dead. And Araman spoke to me as if I were his brother. What? Brothers? How could you be related to that murdering... Of course, it was merely a dream. There is often no connection between slumbering thought and waking reality. Araman was waiting by a gate. He said it was where he stood with someone called the Betrayer. That epithet? Betrayer? I know I've heard that before, but I can't place the memory. That's all I can remember. What were the dreams about? All I can remember. Thank you for sharing all of that. I was curious about what you saw. It seems my mother and Araman are both part of this puzzle, though I can't imagine how or why. Still, we will likely find some answers at the Academy. What would you like to know? We have influence checks on her. I don't know. But... What would you like to know? Mother. My mother is. She was yes, a rather. We've done this already. System. What are we getting out of this? This way. 
I mean the influence, we are getting something to out of it. Sure, where it's registered. Yes. I am glad we have time to speak. There is something I wish to share with you. A protection of sorts to aid you in our travels. You met my brother and sister in Molsentir. Unknown to many, my siblings and I share strength as members of the Menagerie. A blessing I wish to convey upon you. I'd be honored, Kaelin. What is this blessing? It is a protective ward that enables focus even when one is in tremendous pain and allows one to resist wounds and ailments that assault the body so the mind can remain pure. It will aid you in the struggles ahead, perhaps even help you resist what consumes you. Well, that's useful. Thank you, Kaelin, and I accept this blessing of the menagerie. So be it. It is done. Even should we part company, or I perish, the blessing will remain. Neither time nor evil shall chip at it, and it will help you until the end of your days. Based on Caitlin's influence status with you, you have gained the influence-based feat, Blessing of the Menagerie, giving you a bonus to your fortitude saving throws. So the Coven urges us on to Merkel by taking the Thaymount Road. This journey has many branches, but I sense we are closing on our destination. We should travel to the Thaymount, and soon, your power grows, and so does your hunger. That was already the plan, but thanks. I am sorry. I am telling you things of which you are already aware. You spoke to me for some reason other than to hear your own thoughts reflected, so please, if you have questions, ask. Apparently I don't. Yes, how may I help? Might I have a moment of your time? The more I travel with you, the more you surprise me with your agreeable qualities. Likewise, the more I travel with you, the more I enjoy your company. I see great potential in you. Had you come to my academy as a prospective student, you would have made an excellent, if not unorthodox, pupil. I would like to share with you arcane lore that my mother taught me when I was young. That's generous of you, thank you. During our travels on foot and our idle hours set in camp, I will train you, sharpen your memory, your focus, your will. Consider it a gift of our friendship. Now, shall we be off? Okay, okay. Influence base, blah blah blah. Devotion of the Red Wizard, giving you a bonus to your intelligence and strengthening any spells you cast. What would you like to know? Plus two wisdom, plus two saving throws. Plus two intelligence, plus four to all spell save difficulty uh, classes, I suppose. That's uh, that's a huge boost. I don't think our intelligence went up at all, really. Apparently, it. Hmm. Okay. Resistant, maximize, extend, empower. Right. And again. Gokosh is gone. And I feel loss. All that time wasted in judging her for something she had not done. She did the exact opposite of what I had believed all my life. Felt the exact opposite. She loved me and loved my father. 
I believe she did, yes. How much of such dreams and hopes are left unsaid between others? And how many could be saved or healed by such knowledge? If I am ever to love, I will speak of it. This is my promise, the first vow I have ever made. And if I am loved in return, then it shall only be the first vow of many. Are you in love, Gan? Can one be in love without it being reciprocated? Or does that make it something else? I say it is still love. I do not know, but I shall know in time. You have already shown me one part of my world, and allowed me to make peace with it. Perhaps you will show me something else. My mother held too much, too long, in silence. So this is my promise, the first vow I have ever made. I love you. I have fought this realization for some time with half-truths, with deceptions to myself, but seeing Gokosh, it made me realize the importance of stripping away such things. Mm. I don't love him. I don't dislike him either. What are our options? My heart belongs to another. Well, that's not true. I love you as well. Do not love you. I value your friendship and camaraderie. So, friend zone, son of a bitch. It's a uh, friend zoning is in the. It's not a bad thing to be a, a friend with someone you care about, but it is. You can't deny the fact that if you have romantic expectation, it's going to be a disappointment. So it might lose our influence with him. I'm not a surrogate for your broken feelings, Hagsbone. Seek your ease of comfort elsewhere. Yeah. So we can be a dick about it. I would say our realistic options are uh, I love you as well or I value our friendship and camaraderie. But that is all I can give you at this time. Um, Hmm. I, no matter what, I don't particularly want to lose influence with Yan. Um, I think I'll say I love him. I, I don't do it at, at this point. Not enough in interactions with the man. I suppose you can assume that there has been a lot of things happening outside. I mean, once you travel a lot, some interactions that are not included in the game. But, so, I certainly don't dislike him. He's a physically attractive and likable personality, uh, so I get along with him just fine. I don't still don't quite love him. I don't think at least quite as much as he does, but I don't see any real downside to saying that I do. I mean, even if we get into a relationship, I could always just end it any moment I want and walk away if I want. That, that happens even if your feelings happen to be uh, feel love at the start. You can see things can always change when you get to know someone better or just get into some kind of a routine. So I think this is the best choice. This way I can put my hooks in the Ganaya, hook him permanently. Very likely, at least, unless I do something magnificently stupid to lose influence. And so, and we can always bail out later on. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I lied to someone. I love you as well, Ganya. And I have adventured quite a lot without seeing any romantic action, so it's not exactly an unpleasant thought to try to pair up with someone. Then so be it. We will share dream and awareness together. That was all I needed to know. We shall be each other's anchor when all around us is in turmoil. When chaos floods over us, our strength shall shield us against it. And even should I fall, this sharing of our feelings shall remain. And I will be with you, even if my physical self is destroyed. Gun's personality has blended with yours. 
granting you both the romance feat, Dreamer's Heart. Dreamer's Heart bestows a resistance to both spells and mind-influencing attacks, and it will remain with you even if gun slain. Excellent. <laughs> Are you talking about saving throw improvements or what? Bestow life force. Now this is a spirit eater. You must have restored Woodman. Okay, this is an actual ability then. You effectively reverse your ability to drain spirit. Instead of converting some of your spirit energy into hit points for you and your companions, this ability fully heals all companions and raises any who have fallen unconscious. The amount of spirit energy it costs is proportionate to the amount of damage healed. A maximum of one complete stage at the spirit energy bar. This ability can be the most potent way to reduce craving as well. It causes you to lose an amount that is also proportioned to the amount of damage healed. Okay. Um, I don't see the ability. Premier Sword. Spell resistance 30, immunity to mind affecting spells. Holy shit. This is the my only point of this hat pretty much is the immunity to mind affecting spells. Now that's totally worthless. Plus two intelligence isn't bad, but plus two to an attribute is rubbish at this point. So we're looking for a new hat. Right. Okay, that went on much better than I thought. Can I talk to Gan some more? Yes. No. Are you alright? I am wondering about this wall of the faithless. I know your curse to be true. If it has been spawned by one of your gods, then this wall of the faithless may be true as well. So? I have no desire to be imprisoned and face oblivion at the end of my days, that is all. If you fight this curse, then perhaps you are fighting this god's punishment as well. And that is a fight I can believe in. Okay. Hour 23. Okay, when the fuck are you going to sleep then? Guess we need to talk to father first or just exit for a moment. We have seen, nay, heard your daughter. Your arrows of blame have been fired at the wrong target. This gun she whispers of, I assure you, it is not me. Do not lie to me. She refers to you. Do not dare seek to wash your hands of this. Do not believe gun is to blame, but maybe we can help. Influence loss. What? Why? Ah, he objects to being in dead death in any way. Okay. Damage was done by me, and I bear no res was not done by me, and I bear no responsibility for this. Whatever you seek to do, I am not indebted to anything. Her dreams run strong, and they rule her, not the other way around. 
in her dreams she has made a gun but this gun is something she has woven and it bears little resemblance to me except it bears your name and came into being after you stayed with us and in her half mumbled description see she describes you right down to that sneering smile and that contemptuous look of yours do you think that if someone takes your robe and wears it they are then you this mask this flight of fancy your daughter has woven from threads of near nothing and dawn is not me and the blame is not mine i may not blame the robe but i blame the thief and the and creature you are such a thief as much as the theft of a robe would diminish me so is what you stole from my daughter the matter concerned pig's will or the harvest i would trust your opinion but your daughter is her own woman and her mind has built her own dream stronger than most but it is a gift she has chosen to misuse i think you will find the so soil you till uh, is shiftier than i if that is your accusation farmer are these the twisted words you used to befuddle my dear anya begone then hagspawn i will speak to you no more Oh my god, why aren't you sleeping yet? Does she sleep during daytime or something? Uh, we had another place to visit here, so it doesn't really matter. The stream with the bear spirits didn't really work the last time I was there. Wells of Blue. take a better look at it this time. It was... there was a conversation being started, but it got interrupted. I don't really expect any resistance here, so time to finish this. We'll see. Clearly I have to do something to kill a little bit of time, so Might as well do this. Whatever this happens to be. Ah, Wells of Blue. We. Yes, we used them. Beneath the night sky, the pool shimmers like a black glass. Behind every ripple and a splash, another sound seems to lurk. The baying of a great bear. Or the howling of a wolf. This is an ancient place. It's sacred to beasts that possess awareness of themselves and their consciousness, like some humans do. They are now they are gone now, but their spirits and memories remain. These memories, these fragments of their waking dreams can still be seen, like ripples on the surface of the water, while others swim deep in the undertow of the pools here. What kind of memories? Battle, blood, death, sleep, comfort, life, mating. Their dreams were not different from yours or mine, though some of their senses were keener. They bathed in these wells as it soothed them. It also mirrored their feelings and thoughts. Is it possible to see those memories? Not with the eyes with which you see the world, but 
the dreamer's eye. You would have to drink from the pool, however, and they will not show you only the memories of beasts. It may cut into your subconscious as well, though that may serve as an improvement. Success. I can stand beside you here and in your dreams to help you sort and channel any rush of images that occur. If you would like, an anchor, if you will. Think on the pool. You sip the water. It is cool and sweet. At once, the ripples and splashes of the pool seem to grow louder, and the sound of the world recedes. And your knees buckle beneath you. You are falling, falling into the soft embrace of the grass and the dream that waits beyond. Excellent. This is a good chance, uh, potentially, to get another mask fragment. Wells of LaRue, it's, uh, it's the barrow where we started the game. Old man. Melina, is it you? I feared you'd come too late, or not at all. I found something. It did save for many long years. But the faceless man may be close on your heels. You need to make haste. I've been in this barrow before. I'm sorry for that. No one should have been able to trespass. If the bear had been watchful and my watch had been strong. Quickly now, follow. I think we should go with him. What is this place? Is this where you awoke? The barrel? It is. It is exactly that. But what is the faceless man? Uh, it's a vision of the past. Look there. Do you see him? Yes, someone is inside the cavern, in the place where I awoke. He created all you see here, for it formed about him like an island, a hidden fortress in a limbo of dreams. I only drifted here by chance. These caverns came later, after I arrived. This sanctuary somehow reshaped itself for me. What little remains of me, that is. Why would this sanctuary reshape itself into Oku's barrow? This cavern is where I died. Old Oku swore an oath to when I spared his life on the shifting flows of Terolag. Swore it in that hell of crackling eyes and screaming, drowning beasts. He would help me end my curse, whatever the cost to himself or his tribe. His barrow would become my tomb, and he my guardian, that no mortal would go near my corpse. And when the hunger fled my remains, it would find no new face, no new mask to hide behind. Now the hunger passes to a new mask upon the death of the previous spirit eater. Even as I stood over the corpse of that sl slavering madman, 
the one who bore the hunger before me, I felt it enter me, and I remember nothing more for a time. When I awoke, I, I felt this stirring inside me. You know it well, do you not? And I knew what I had become. Who is in the cavern? A remnant, perhaps, a piece of a larger hole. There were many such remnants once, but the hunger has gradually devoured them all. I have come to believe that he is a memory, like me, of a previous spirit eater, or of something that came before. Still haven't told me your name. Nor do I know it myself. I think that my name is not important, nor for you, n not for you, and you are why I am still here. All that that really matters is this. I know something about your path, because I once walked it myself. Whoever is in this cavern, can he help me restrain my hunger? Not directly, perhaps, but he may help reveal its nature, and from such knowledge might come mastery. In the meantime, you must forgive an old fool. I set wards to guard the chamber, and I was far stronger than I am now. Beasts await you there, spur spun from your own darkest memories. Dreams they may be, but if you are slain, you may never find a way to us again. Ah, so what exactly do we have there? The boy. The boy's face seems familiar, though you cannot place him. His eyes are bright and he stands patiently, as if a parent or loved one left him for a time, and he is awaiting their return. Shadows. Uh, yeah, we don't exactly have uh, abilities well suited to fight undead, but let's see what we can do. Shadow Reaver, ooh. Old friends. What did he cast? A T Wilderness. Okay. It's basically buying time. Time to finish this. Tropic warning. Vampire warlock. Where the hell did that come from? Is it any good? Probably not. Still, we don't have a huge amount of spells, so... Wait, wait, wait. The horned devil. That's a different matter. We can banish that. Well, it was a good try. a lot of spell protections, so I need to get rid of them. And 
that's game over for you. Boy's face seems vaguely familiar as if you have met him before. His eyes are bright and he smiles at you. You remember me, child. I brought someone to meet you. Have you seen my brother? I think he's forgotten me. Your brother? Who is he? The priests call him Akachi. He says it's an Easter name. We all get them when we are given to the church. I'm called Eveshi, but when the priests aren't listening, my brother calls me Araman. Araman, a word for laughter in the old Mulan tongue. My brother says I laugh enough for the both of us. He says I'll never make a very good priest if I can't stop giggling during service. I knew this boy's face uh, was familiar. I've met him before, but as a grown man, a red wizard called Araman. Are you certain? But that could be... Here, take this. I saved it for you. Mask fragment. A piece of a mask? He never offered this to me. A third mask fragment to join the others to... Curious. Thank you, but how do I use it? We are what we remember, what we dream. Nothing is gone while pieces still remain. This is the piece that is me, but I'm only a part and a, a part of a whole. The old man is speaking excitedly now. But his words are drowned out. A rushing fills your ears and the dream begins to break apart. So how many of these pieces are there in total? That's the third one. We have a wall piece, the boy piece, and the red Woman. Right. Okay, actually, it sort of looks like. It looks like it, the three three pieces might be all of it. I'm not quite sure how would we combine them. Maybe a spirit molding or something, I don't know. No. We saw ancestors of Oku, and they would not be happy to learn that he fell victim to your appetites, so be warned. Yeah. And it goes nowhere, so. Time to finish this. Maybe we would have to have one of many or with us, or Oku with us, to get some kind of reaction out of them. So that's the problem. We're lacking the correct character to continue the conversation, or have a reaction to it. I don't know. Doesn't matter. She's not asleep, I'll just wait. until dawn. Uh, 
Well, this is the same thing really. Just gonna wait, see if he happens. She happens to go asleep. Oh, come on. Nothing's happening. Suppose we could try to sleep here, but I don't think that's it. Seems like she doesn't gonna rest ever. Ugh. Fuck's sakes. Go to sleep. I'm certainly going to abandon this shit soon. This is nothing happening. Uh, I have no idea what I possibly do here. I'm gonna just load. Just walk the fuck away from this. Our next path is to the academy. I have to go back to Mul Frontier for that. Uh, we we'll also sell uh, most of our equipment. We might be able to buy more. We have to be on the lookout for new items. I mean, we have 900,000 gold and we have had no real places to spend. Just very, very, very desperate situation as far as that sort of thing is concerned. Naturally, the next map could offer potential to spend some money, but at the same time, I don't see any reason why we should try to hold on to that. Hope. Hmm. Might as well try to suppress this. Oh no. We're moving on to the academy. There might be new opportunities there. I don't want to suppress it, otherwise, we can't do anything. I always have uh, the option to go back to the Death God's Ball. There's uh, top fights there. I still think they are probably top fights because. While we have gained multiple level ups, we don't really get all that many benefits from leveling up anymore. The, the situation just pretty much stays the same. 
We don't get new spells, or the difficulty class of our spells might go up a little bit. And even that's not guaranteed. Because it's usually not level based. It's based on the level of your spell more, more than anything else, and your attribute. So plus 11 from intelligence, at maximum plus 9 from the spell. I don't... I actually don't know what other considerations they might be. Show me what you've got. Yeah, 500,000 for this. I think these are gone, but... No, it's failed. Uh, plus 4 deflection, but... Regeneration plus 8. I suppose that's what we're really looking for. That is a massive regenerate. That's something you have to take an insane amount of punishment to override something like that. It's not hard, but uh, it might be a way to keep some of our guys alive in a very tough situation. Plus 5 armor bones versus humans. Plus 5 freedom of movement, improved evasion. Superman. Long sword. Plus six. Freedom of movement. Key. Plus two strength. Something like this would be nice too. Bring up clear thought. Why don't you have any hit pass? I suppose this scarab of. No, 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 this is an end, but. No one has. Ooh, there's masks. These aren't particularly interesting. Uh, I, I didn't care about the gems. The gems aren't useless. It's uh, every old recipe from the original campaign is still valid. But there, there's inferior recipes. I'm not sure who would use them. Uh, I'd rather hold on to these items than sell them, for the simple reason that money doesn't do us anything. So if we can afford it, it's much better to have, hold on to the items. One point two million. Yes. Currently, there's like one item that's of interest. Anything else? This is all crafting, I'm not doing that. And again and again, crafting is very good. Very, very good. I'm intentionally not doing it, because it is very, very good. It is, it is too good. I 
and there's like the Death Guards board has been the only situation where we really would have had to sweat it out a little bit. But I abandoned it immediately. I suppose same with the Paragon animals for a moment. But as a general rule, we have have gone through everything without too much fuss. So the same sort of problem as with the original campaign still exists, is that the game isn't particularly hard. Uh, and I don't see any adding difficulty would help, it would just make the fight even more curious, shift the balance more. It's uh, sort of same, similar with Skyrim. If you... Yeah, you can increase the difficulty to make things tougher, but the problem is it doesn't just make things tougher. It totally alters what uh, what is usable in the game and what is totally worthless. So damage spells can lose almost all of their usability because they do like everything does one a quarter of normal damage pretty much. So they're not going to be all that helpful. Companions can't do shit. Summoned creatures really can't do shit. It just totally alters the balance of things and. Yeah, having some kind of a very typical opponent that you have to uh, try to hit for a minute before it goes down. Yes, it is tougher and harder too, but it's not any. It's actually less fun to play something like that. So it's not all bad, but it's definitely not a. It's not a solution. It shifts around the problem. It might, the overall result might be a slight improvement, but it still sucks ass. Sky the Chantia, plus 7 Sky. I'm sort of uh, thinking about buying this. It's, uh, it's a terrible weapon. No doubt about that. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass. The thing about it is though, it would be an acceptable two-hand weapon. I think this is uh, has so much stuff in it that I, I'm not sure if we can uh, enchant it further. And it's more, the stuff it has is, it will, basically will not very likely work on most enemies anyway. It's basically a plus six two-handed sword that does have a little bit of extra positive energy damage. That's it. It has a lot of other things, but they won't work on many opponents anyway. Ah, uh, still, they don't have anything interesting to sell. And as long as what we have is good enough, there's no real need to change things. Do we want to become a Berserker? We probably would have the hit points to do it. Uh, I'm wondering about one thing. I provoke spirits. No. Gur, gur, gur. This is the only thing that could possibly be uh, any kind of reason to delay our delay our escape. Um, I don't want to lose my equipment though. I I don't I don't have a shit. Not enough of a shit at least. 
So into the bale, talk to the shopkeeper there. You might want to buy, think about buying a mask. In, it provides two plus two intelligence. It's not really providing us so much at all. So I would definitely be interested in a replacement. We don't need to rest, we don't need to do anything, we don't need to get more spirit energy. Just get to the portal golem and leave things there, I suppose. Time to finish this. Go to uh, Academy of Thane Red Wizards. What could possibly go wrong? Might I suggest a theme? It might lighten the mood in this dark place. Let some dreams air. I suggest a grand performance, a drama, the dream walker of Rashomon. A wild, unpredictable, and breathtakingly handsome spirit who wanders the land and the dreams of its people, especially the daughters of farmers full in the thrones of their womb. Now that's a play I wouldn't mind seeing. I agree. What your friend suggests might be a play with meat on its bones. Indeed, not the poultry fare we provide. But one must ask why the Dreamwalker walks. There needs to be some motivation, some purpose to his movements. Why adventure, of course. The thrill of an open road and an open mind is always a lure. Many tales have started with little more. No, on the surface such a motivation might work, but we strive for something deeper at the veil. We may seem to be a place of surface appearance, but there is always something else at work. Why would the Dreamwalker walk the lands of Rashomon? Surely one with the ability to walk the dreams of others would choose somewhere else. Perhaps, perhaps instead he runs from something. Runs? I see a hero such as he. Come now, you've already lost me as an audience member. Do not lose more. I'm siding with Gan because I'm not sure. I'm sort of very wary about risking more influence, but that might lose more influence, but. No, I'll go with that. Don't judge her so quickly, Gan. Give her a moment to think. We need something. Something to add to the drama. Well then, let us say he's an exile, of course. Forced to wander the land. Ah, so in chaos, perhaps. Living a life of whim and fanc fantasy. But why? Does he does not seem to be a being without choices. Why would he choose that? The chaos around him might be him rebelling against routine, order and stability. But what symbolizes such an order? Hmm. Cities? Hmm. Yes, is enough of a motivation, I think. No, and for he would find some comfort there, something closer. What would be more structured than a town, more confining or seemingly so? No, I think something more intimate would be called for. Ah, now we're back on track. Intimacy is perhaps a fam family, or another could provide. Yes, our hero perhaps runs from that. 
Get down inside, seeks it out as well. Are you alright, Cat? You look uncomfortable. Why prey on the dreams of others? Is he alone? Is that why he wonders? So many mysteries. Try to suggest a play to liven things up around here. And already you have murdered my idea. Where is the amusement in such a play as you suggest? Indeed, perhaps it is not amusing at all. Caricatures provide amusement, but paintings have layers. And this dreamwalker feels more like a painting to me. Okay, either this guy has something of interest on the mask part, or we can just skip this. Uh, charisma, dexterity, block diplomacy, perform slide of hand. Could be useful, but still not the intelligence. Nymph's Cloak, Thevin Circle, Skeleton Saving Throw, Concentration. This is slightly better, but it, the difference is so minor, it's barely worth mentioning. The Degen. Diplomacy Intimidate Dogs. Mm. Finch's Finest Hat is uh, somewhat interesting. Because we have some use for charisma, some use for dexterity, some use for love, some use for diplomacy. So the sleight of hand and perform would be the only useless, useless things here. So I don't know. Still, the Vian circlet on the other hand would retain the intelligence bonuses, which we have very, very. We've done a lot of, gone through a lot of trouble to maintain that. So I'm not in. Clean, inclined to lose it, and yeah, I don't see any intelligence bonuses anywhere else. So shit. But no, I think we'll keep things as they are. Okay, so we Opportunity lost, but wasn't it? I've never been exactly super invested in the dialogue skills or conversation skills. I think any kind of a conversation that would rely on us having conversation-specific equipment set on top of uh, on on us. Is probably something I I wouldn't mind failing anywhere. So, Time to Vivian Academy this. of the Shakers. 